Okay, objective three, create cumulative frequency and relative frequency distributions. Because quantitative data can be ordered, written in ascending or descending order, they can be summarized in a cumulative frequency distribution and a cumulative relative frequency distribution. A cumulative frequency distribution displays the aggregate frequency of the category. In other words, it displays the total number of observations less than or equal to the upper class limit of the class. Now, a cumulative relative frequency distribution displays the proportion or percentage of observations less than or equal to the upper class limit of the class. So the cumulative frequency for the second class is the sum of the frequencies of classes one and two. The cumulative frequency for the third class is the sum of the frequencies of classes one, two, and three, and so on. So for example, we're gonna be constructing a cumulative and cumulative relative frequency distribution. So, so this is a cumulative frequency and cumulative relative frequency distribution. So we're gonna obtain a cumulative frequency distribution and cumulative relative frequency distribution for the five year, okay? This is the five year rate of return data listed in the table, okay? All right, so if you take a look here, we're gonna look here. So we have our five year rate of return here. We have our frequency, we have our relative frequency. Now for the cumulative frequency distribution, we wanna determine the total number of observations less than or equal to each class. So for the cumulative relative frequency distribution, we're gonna determine the proportion of the observations less than or equal to each class. So the table to the left displays the cumulative frequency and the cumulative relative frequency of the data summarized from that table. So what we're gonna do is, the fre cumulative frequency for the first one is two, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add two, which is the next frequency, which is this one here. And when we add two, it's gonna give us four. Okay, and then the next one is going to be four. So we're going to add four plus four. And then if you notice, that's going to give us the value of eight. And the next value of the frequency is one. So eight plus one is now going to give us nine. And then the next number of the frequency is six. So nine plus six is going to give us 15. The next number is 13, so 15 plus 13 is now going to give us 28. The next number of the frequency is 7, so 28 plus 7 is now going to give us 35. The next number is 3, so 35 plus 3 is going to give us 38. The next number is 1, so 38 plus 1 is now going to give us 39. The next number is zero, so 39 plus zero is 39. And the next number is zero, so 39 plus zero is 39. And then the last frequency is one, so 39 plus one is going to give us 40. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the cumulative frequency. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So the first one is 0 0.05. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the second cumulative frequency, relative frequency, which is gonna be plus 0 0.05. And that gives us 0 0.10. The next one we're gonna add is 0 0.10. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 is gonna give us 0 0.2. The next one we wanna to add to 0 0.2 is 0 0.025. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.025 is going to give us 0 0.225. The next value we're going to add is 0 0.15. So we're going to add that to 0 0.15. Adding those together gives us 0 0.375. And then we're going to add 0 0.325 to 0 0.375, which gives us 0 0.7. 
and then we're going to add 0.7 with 0 0.175 to give us 0 0.875. And then we're going to add 0 0.875 with the next number, which is 0 0.075, which gives us 0 0.95. And then 0 0.95, we're going to add 0 0.025 to give us 0.975 and then we're going to add 0.975 with 0 and that gives us 0.975 and then we're going to add another 0 to that 0.975 to give us 0.975 and then we're going to add 0 0.025 to 0.975 to get 1 okay so again, you can see here that this table is going to show that 38 of the 40 mutual funds had five-year rates of return of 15.99% or less. The cumulative relative frequency distribution is shown in the fifth column. We see that 95% of the mutual funds had a five-year rate of return of 15.99% or less. Also, a mutual fund with a five-year rate of return of 16% or higher outperformed 95% of its peers. Notice that the last class, 19 and 19.99%, has a cumulative frequency of 1, and this will always be the case. Okay, now the stack crunch step. So how are we going to go ahead and do this on stack crunch? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our data in here. Okay, so, and then the next step is we want to now create a bin. So we're going to go to data and then select bin. Okay, and then we do not want to uh, create the def define the bins as automatically. We want to use fixed. Okay, and we're going to call this um, bin return. Okay, and so because we started out with a lower class limit of eight, then we're going to start at eight. Okay, and then the bin width is the class width, which is one. Okay, and then we want to make sure that we include left endpoint. So this is going to create another column for us here. So there is our new column, and this is the bin return. Okay, now that we've created this, okay, so it says here we're selecting the column containing the data and we're choosing the starting point and the bin width this is what we did. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to stat. And then we're going to select tables and then we're going to select frequency okay and so what we want to do is we want to select the column that's containing the bins well this is the column that we just created that's containing the bins and so what we want is we want the cumulative and the cumulative frequency and the cumulative relative frequency okay and then from here once we have those selected we're going to select compute and then if you notice here it's going to give us our cumulative and frequency and cumulative relative frequency. Okay, so let's go ahead and match this with what we did here. So you can see here that it matches our numbers. Okay, so our numbers go from 2, 4, 8, 9, 15, 28, 35, 38, 39, and then 40. And then we have our following numbers over here as well. So again, that's how we would do that on stack crunch for the cumulative and frequency and cumulative relative frequency.